Bob Squat. Boom. Gotcha. We've got something sent in very recently by Gabe, who wanted me to react to Cemeteries 5150, a new track by him. It came out just a few days ago, four days ago, this is telling me on his on this YouTube page. And uh, I was happy to do it. Uh, some people have been wanting me to do this, and then I saw Gabe sent in some money for it, so I said, that gives me the reason to do it. Thank you, Gabe. Uh, 5150 by Cemetery, produced by Cemetery, came out October 31st, so just three or four days ago. Uh, 5150 is, by the way, the melting point of steel. It is also the name of Van Halen's recording studio and the name of one of their albums from like 1986. I looked it up just the other day. So that is what I think of when I hear the term 5150 or the words 5150. Uh, it looks like here that's saying 5150 refers to the California law code for the temporary involuntary psychiatric commitment of individuals who present a danger to themselves or others due to signs of mental illness. It has more <laughs> been more generally applied to people who are considered threateningly unstable or crazy. Uh, that's awesome. I did not know that. That's kind of cool. Uh, rap plug underground rap. Really? Not specifically labeled as Witch House. Okay. Let's check it out. Two minutes, 50 seconds. A little bit short, I think, for a cemetery track. Cemetery 5150. Let's go. Thanks again to Gabe for sending this in. I do appreciate it. I'm glad I saw you had sent it because I really wanted to react to this. Let's do it. Crank that haunted mound, you cracker. <laughs> 3 a.m. gang, round the way boys are creeping through your woods. You know how I'm rocking, car stalking, jobbers all up in my pockets, boots are rocking, jeans are rocking, got a brother for the time, bro. I swear it sounds like he's saying 5050, but it doesn't matter. I know he's saying 5150. It just sounds like 5050. <laughs> It's so hard to fight when you wish you were never born. Who who mentioned that? <laughs> Where does that lyric come from? That's crazy. It's so hard to fight when you wish you were never born. <sighs> So 
interesting to see the, his style change. Um, by the way, if anybody has no, 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 no. this on a t-shirt, I, I want one. Like, I, that's just a cool image of those skeletons. I want that shirt. I don't want a white shirt, though. But if anybody has a shirt with that on it, uh, please let me know. I, I would love a shirt like that. Um, it's really interesting to see his style change and to see him experimenting with other... Like, this, this is not a pop song, right? But this seems much poppier than a lot of the older Haunted Mound stuff. And I say older because I think Wendigo is a very poppy song. Very, very poppy song. Um, this seems more... Hmm. What does this seem more? I guess... What do they list it as? Do they, they listed it as... Rap Plug. I don't necessarily get Plug out of this. But I, I just may not know it. Certainly Underground Rap. really kind of slightly aggressive alt rock punk flavored rap I mean just the feel of it right it feels very aggressive feels very off kilter feels very and it should right it's 5150 they're talking about you know I'm a psycho all this stuff um I'm very curious to see how this is received. I think it's good. I think it'll still appeal to people who like his haunted, uh, his witch house stuff. But this is not witch house, so uh, I mean, I guess it's appropriate that this wasn't labeled witch house. I wonder where he's going with his music. What he wants to do with it. Because it almost feels like he wants to come up with something completely new. Because this, I don't think rap and underground rap really fully explains what he's doing here. Like I said, it has feel of, you know, more aggressive sort of alt rock has that punk feel punk aesthetic i very i mean i like it i i thought it was good i would listen to this uh i'm gonna have to listen to it again to see if i want to download it but um it's it's cool it's very cool and i like what he's doing and i like to see artists kind of stretch a little bit and he's been doing witch house stuff for quite a few years so um, it doesn't surprise me that he wants to like, let's explore this sound, let's explore that sound, let's do this sort of thing. Let's, I don't know. I thought this was I thought this was pretty good. The five one five zero, it's repeated a lot. It gets a little old. It's not the greatest hook ever, right? Um, but the song is still very good. I I enjoyed it. I liked it. I might download it. I might have liked it enough for that, and put it on my favorites. Thank you very much for sending this in, uh, Gabe. I appreciate it, and uh, I hope everybody else enjoys this. I hope you like what you're, where Cemetery's going. Um, he makes great music. That's all I got to say. Hey, uh, down in the description of this video is a playlist that I put together just the other, also uh, October thirty first, just when this song was released, and um, it has some great tracks on it. It's twelve tracks, stuff I just have listened to recently and put it together into a playlist. It's all stuff from my channel that I have liked well enough to download to my phone. Um, also did a live stream last night, uh, Saturday night. So if you want to watch something that's like two and a half hours long, me reacted to a whole bunch of awesome music, go check that out. It's on the channel. It hasn't been caught by copyright, so that's good. And uh, there you go, Pop Squat. Check it out. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please go watch another video on the channel. Cash App, PayPal, and Patreon information is down below in the description of this video. Thanks again to Gabe for sending this in. Very, very timely of you, my friend.
Have yourself a good, good day. Bye-bye.